When it comes to Argentine boxers, Marcos Maidana has managed to position himself as one of the most valuable of the 2000s generation. Much is said about the strength of an Aztec warrior, capable of defeating fighters from all over the world, even in the worst scenarios. But in today's video, you will see how a tricolor was cruelly destroyed by a bicolor whom he chose to disrespect. Get comfortable, a real massacre is about to happen. Born in Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico, Jesus Soto Carras grew up to become one of the tricolor fighters who broke the mold, but in a negative way. After his professional debut on June 29, 2001, where he defeated Edgar Nzunza by technical knockout in the first round of a scheduled four-round fight, his rise to glory seemed guaranteed. However, once he tasted the bitter taste of defeat on January 15, 2004, at the hands of Nurhan Suleymanoglu, by unanimous decision of the judges after the scheduled 12 rounds, there was no turning back. Karas's career would become one of the most unstable ever witnessed. When things went well for him, they went really well. But when things went bad, they went really bad. It was 2012, and Jesus Soto Karas had been fluctuating in his professional career. Prior to the fight with Maidana, Karas had secured two victories. The most recent on July 7, 2012 against Yuri Gonzalez, by technical knockout in the fifth round. There to be hit by a right hand, particularly an overhand, there's a net there's right. Right. Same spot. And before that, on May 26, 2012, he had defeated Said El Harak by split decision after the scheduled 10 rounds. In the short term, Karas could be thought of as a fearsome Aztec warrior, but prior to these events and since 2009, he hadn't secured a single victory. On the other hand, Marcos Maidana's career had historically been more stable. Born in Margarita, Santa Fe, Argentina, Maidana grew up to become a modest example of good boxing. After his debut on June 12, 2004, where he defeated Adan Basilio Mironchik by knockout in the first round of four scheduled, he embarked on an incredible winning streak that would be celebrated for years. Although he tasted the bitter taste of defeat on February 7, 2009, when Andriy Kotelnik defeated him by split decision after the scheduled 12 rounds and a few more times before facing Karas, the Argentine was able to recover from these events like no other. Therefore, facing a true Aztec warrior posed no predisposition for him. On September 15, 2012, Jesus Soto Karas and Marcos Maidana stepped into the mythical ring at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada to face their destiny. Maidana had recently been defeated by Devin Alexander on February 25th by unanimous decision of the judges after the scheduled 10 rounds, and everyone was wondering if this would be one of his epic comebacks. With Kenny Bayless as the third man in the ring, the fight began. Round 1. Both fighters left their corners, ready to test each other's guard. Extending their left hands over the center of the ring, they waited to detect any weakness where they could eventually direct their offense. As they began to move, both ran the risk of being trapped against the ropes. It was too early to declare either one the aggressor of the fight, and both were truly making efforts to claim that title. Suddenly, a burst of euphoria led Maidana to overpower Karas in the last seconds of the round. Winning round! Welterweight action between Marcos Maidana and Jesus Soto Cara. Round 2. As soon as they met in the center of the ring, they clashed their fists. Both fighters' left hands were at the forefront of their attempts to position their respective opponents for a proper offensive. While Maidana remained more stable, Karas moved openly around the ring, trying not to stand directly in front of him. For every good combination Maidana threw, Karas seemed to balance it out with a timely counterattack. Midway through the round, the first clinch occurred. Karas clung to Maidana's waist, trying to neutralize his offense. However, when the fight resumed, he crashed into a wall. His attempts to overpower his rival were met with resistance, and he even ran the risk of being paralyzed by the counterattack. Even against the ropes, Maidana seemed comfortable while making Karas look incapable of hurting him. Boston, Soto Karras, working the body. Maidana along the ropes, him it's a work. Round 3. Maidana came out swinging in the third round. The aggressiveness of his offense pushed Karas back to the ropes, where he fought to free himself until he managed to clinch. I tell you, I don't, I don't think Soto Karras knows how Maidana is going to come and attack. I mean, he, he came out jabbing the first... Back in the center of the ring, Karras tried to calm Maidana by extending his left hand, but it was impossible. 
Inevitably, intense close-range exchanges ensued. When Maidana was hit, he seemed to absorb the blows, growing stronger with each one. When he hit back, his punches seemed like the most powerful in the ring. The tension between the fighters was real. So much so that even after the bell rang to end the round, the fight continued. Going to round four. And a quick flurry at the end and some extra curricular activity. Bayless, along with their corners, had to intervene. Round four. Karras came out determined to make Maidana pay for those after the bell punches. Unfortunately for him, Maidana refused to pay. On the contrary, he came out of his corner with an even more aggressive stance. Emotions were running high, and in a clinch, as they were being separated, the fighters continued to throw punches, leading Bayless to deduct a point from each on the judges' scorecards. They seemed to be in defiance, neither intending to recognize the fight's rules. When the fight resumed, Karras pushed Maidana against the ropes and unleashed a flurry, which the Argentine barely escaped. Relying on a clinch, Maidana bought the time needed to survive the round. One is going to get disqualified. It's Soto Karras now. Round five. As soon as the bell rang, Maidana and Karras engaged in a heated exchange of punches that could only be stopped by a clinch. Karras threw beastly combinations at Maidana's body, leaving him no choice but to endure. In the counterattack, Maidana reaffirmed his position. It seemed like a personal brawl, with both fighters grabbing each other by the neck in the clinches. There wasn't a second of calm. Neither could catch their breath. And once again, the conflict extended beyond the sound of the bell. In Las Vegas tonight! And again, some... Round 6. Maidana began moving more around the ring, forcing Karras to chase him closely if he wanted to land a hit. Karras really struggled to trap him against the ropes, but Maidana slipped away to the sides. Karras's combinations to Maidana's body still weren't having the desired effect. However, Karras had succeeded in appearing to be the aggressor in the fight. Little did he know what was just around the corner. Big punches after Karras had come out with his assault. Round 7. Karras felt confident enough to come out of his corner aggressively, in the style of Mike Tyson. But when you move in, you also leave your guard open. The question that would soon be answered was whether Karras was strong enough to withstand the counterattack. Maidana's left hand began to find its mark. Once again, as they were separated from a clinch, Maidana threw a punch to the side. Bayless had no choice but to deduct a point from his scorecard. When the fight resumed, Karras tried to trap him against the ropes, but Maidana escaped. Back in the center of the ring, Karras continued to attack Maidana mercilessly when suddenly, he hit the canvas. While he's busy, oh, the right hand knocks down Soto Karras! And... A monstrous right hand, part of the counterattack, sent him crashing onto his back with less than 20 seconds left in the round. Karras had even more time to recover as the bell sent him to his corner, but Maidana's fate was sealed. Round 8. Karras cautiously came out of his corner to test Maidana. Like a predator, Maidana sensed the fear in his opponent and brought out the heavy artillery. With body combinations, Maidana pushed Karras against the ropes. The fighter who had appeared to be the aggressor in the previous rounds now seemed disarmed after the knockdown. Karras tried to escape to the side, but Maidana caught up with him and cornered him. Maidana unleashed a deadly barrage of punches, to which Karras eventually stopped responding. Maidana had entered devil mode, and Bayless noticed that Karras couldn't keep up. So, he stepped in and stopped the fight. At 43 seconds of the eighth round, Marcos Maidana defeated Jesus Soto Carras by technical knockout. And another right hand that finds the head of Soto Carras, now beginning to take all kinds of fun. If you've made it this far, I thank you. Remember, the best way to support my content is by leaving a like on the video. Did you think Jesus Soto Carras really stood a chance, or did Maidana just let him have fun before completely finishing him? I'll read your thoughts in the comments.